Southampton. This really was it. The day had at last come when the Queen Mary was leaving home for good. The old lady of the Atlantic was being ready to set sail for a new berth on the other side of the world. On the bridge, Sir Basil Smallpiece, Chairman of Cunard, and Captain Treasure Jones had a few moments of nostalgia as departure time neared. They were joined by Mr. Robert Crow, Vice Mayor of Long Beach, California, the Queen Mary's new hometown. But Southampton wasn't going to let the grand old ship just slip away without a proper send-off. For the very last time, her main gangway was removed. The last physical link with British soil was gone. On board were over a thousand passengers for the last voyage. And as the liner moved out, helicopters of the Royal Navy flew over her in anchor formation. Majestically, she slid out into Southampton water. This was the moment of final farewell. From the people of the land of her birth, and from the Royal Navy came the final honor for the greatest merchant ship ever built. The Queen Mary had sailed from Britain, never again to return.